Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Madden cheese as always. Got another uh, full breakdown for you guys. If you guys don't know, once a month I try to put out a full breakdown of an offensive playbook or sometimes a defensive playbook for you guys. Uh, I'll have links in the description for the other playbooks that I've done so far. Uh, but this month I wanted to do the Seattle Seahawks. I wanted to give one of my best books away. Although, to be honest with you, every book that I've put out so far is one of my best. I've already done the Patriots. I've already done the, uh, I think, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the Steelers. I'm not really sure, but I know. I put out uh, some really good books so far. This one here is one of the best balanced playbooks in the game as far as running and passing. There's a ton of great plays in it. Uh, let me know in the comments section what book you guys would like to see me do next month. I always ask you guys uh, for suggestions what book you would like to see. I typically don't put out the Saints and the Raiders. That's about it. Those are probably the only ones that I keep to myself uh, for you know people that buy it on my Patreon and uh, you know on my uh, on my ebook website and all that stuff. I try to keep those because they're some of my best sellers. But other than that, I have just about every other playbook available for this series uh, and i'm also going to be having some new playbooks coming out pretty soon so make sure to check that out as well links in the description below other than that i'm not going to waste a lot of you guys' time i just want to wish you guys a happy holiday happy new year uh happy uh you know merry christmas i, I think i said that in a previous video but happy holidays all around i uh, appreciate all the uh, support you guys have given me this year and i'm looking forward to a great 2021 other than that thanks for watching let's go and let's get right into the video next up out of the iform h pro we have the pa misdirection shot This play here doesn't really take any adjustments to beat cover four. Um, it's a natural cover four beater. I find putting the X route in a uh, in a uh, smoke route is a pretty good idea. Uh, but you can see you don't really need any adjustments. You just have to wait. I'll go to the replay real quick. You just have to wait for the uh, the receiver to get to a certain point. Obviously, I'm bullet and pass leading away uh, very far to the left. But once he gets inside of this guy, he, he's just running away from the safety. This guy's already out of position. This guy's already out of position because of the uh, the lower trajectory route, uh, pulling them both inside and keeping them down. So once he gets right about here, you can see I'm just bullet and pass leading away. And so uh, I guess I already made the throw. I don't even know where I'm at. No, yeah, here we go. So like I said, I'm already um, throwing the ball. I typically try to roll in the direction that I'm throwing the ball as well. Next up, we got the PA slide. Uh, make sure to put a speed back at the fullback position. All right, so on this play, all you really want to do, motion out this fullback. Uh, that's typically the best way to go. He'll get out in the flat a lot faster. Uh, the play action, you can cancel that pre-snap because it kind of messes things up. He'll get open regardless, but in, in your motion amount, he's going to get open even faster and with more space. So if I were to run this play like this, uh, without that, you can see how the guy's just right in front of him. But with the motion, he's going to be open. He's going to make a big play. Next up, we have the slant and goes. Against cover one, um, all you really want to do, block your running back, streak the tight end. And these outside receivers are supposed to be able to beat uh, the coverage outside. As you can see right there, I don't have a great receiver. Obviously, Gilvin's fast, but uh, they're going to bite on those on those releases. Let's go to the replay to show that again real quick. Um, the, like I said, the tight end here is really just his job is just to try to keep that safety in the center of the field so these outright outside receivers can work. Uh, but typically, I mean, one of them should be. It's not really speed based because you can see Deshaun Jackson on the other side didn't quite get the get the break. You really just have to watch for which receiver actually makes their cornerback bite. If they bite inside, it doesn't have to be a lot, but if they bite inside, all you really have to do is lob it up and uh, run the space, and you're going to get uh, big plays against cover one. Next up out of the iForm H Pro, we have the stretch. Now, a play like this, I'm once again, I like to uh, flip the play. Um, I find, you know, making the motion as well. I mean, that blocker is going to have a better advantage getting to where he needs to go. Uh, I don't actually have my right blocker in, though, as I should have put my fullback back in. <laughs> but uh, since some of the plays I throw to the fullback in this formation, uh, that's something that I'll do. But ultimately, I find that's the best way. I like to flip it. Uh, whether you do the motion or not uh, is really up to you. Uh, you can run it base. You can just run it to the normal side. Uh, if it's a man coverage, a lot of times motioning one of these receivers across the formation 
him. Although, obviously, this isn't man coverage, but against man coverage, that cornerback will follow, and it will make a, a, an even wider lane to the outside because there's no corner out there. So that's something to keep in mind. You can do it to either side. Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry. You can't do it to either side because if you try to motion Jeffrey, it won't let him get across. So it's really best to run it like this stock uh, and then motion across the B receiver to get to get the, an advantage against man. Now, if it's zone, if you know it's a zone ahead of time, making that motion uh, with Jackson will give you a blocking advantage. You see, one, it spreads the linebacker out, and two, I mean, it might change where you go with the ball. As you can see right there, we kind of ran inside more, uh, but ultimately, it still creates lane. You still have a blocking advantage because you have two wide receivers, no cornerback motions, and it's going to give you a plus one. Next up, we have the PA draw shot. So against cover four, all you really want to do is put the A on a drag, put the X on a smoke. Drag's a decent check down. Block your running backs. You don't really need uh, them doing any of the, the things they're doing. I typically find motioning out Goddard's a good idea too. This gives you a little bit better protection. Uh, I'm not actually looking at a cover four right now, so let's go ahead and let's switch over to that. Uh, and then, like I said, we're pretty much going to just... Uh, I typically like to roll in the direction of where I'm throwing. You can see Goddard's in a better position to block for me now. And then just bullet, pass lead away. I didn't quite make the catch there. We'll have to do that again. So one more time. Got to make sure I put the uh, cover four on. Make sure wait till they get set. I didn't really make my protections, but that's fine. And we're going to make that play. So like I said, a little bit of tight coverage, but you can see it's definitely there to be made. Next up, out of the I-Form 8 slot open, we have the wide receiver comebacks. So this play, you're going to put the... Uh, the B route here on an in route and the rest of the play doesn't really change the if you have a man coverage The two routes on the left side including the running back and the X route are going to beat man And if it's a zone coverage the A and the B route are going to beat zone now Obviously uh, you got to time that throw on the comeback, but he's going to beat man pretty much every time So it's really simple if you have I mean the, the Y routes also a really good check down But it's real simple once you realize you have a man or a zone uh, you're going to have your, your two sides, your two reads. Um, here we have a, a cover three. You can see if they if they drop on the lower route, you take the deeper route. If they drop on the deeper route, you take the lower route. It's really simple. Next up, we got the halfback stretch. Stretch plays are best against off coverage, cover threes, and uh, cover fours. If you have a box safety, typically running it away from the box safety is going to give you an advantage. Here, I'll just motion this guy across. Uh, and then you can see, I mean, it's a really explosive run. Uh, like I said, off coverage is going to be best. Cover two, there's typically going to be a corner in the area, taking away your outside lane. Next up, out of the I-Form H tight, we have the PA misdirection shot. This is a cover four, one play touchdown, so for whatever reason your opponent uh, is sticking in this formation, all you really have to do is wait till he crosses that safety, uh, and then I just didn't catch the ball, but you can see he gets the space. So we're going to run that one more time. It's a Godwin. He's really doing his job. I'm just kind of messing him up. As you can see right there, we get the pass lead up. Whether you pass lead up, away, it doesn't really matter. You just have to pass lead away from the strong safety that he's crossing. Next up, we got the PA Power O. This is a good cover two beater play. I would just say motion out uh, the tight end, just streak everybody because really you're trying to isolate the B route. Uh, and the B route will get outside this cornerback and outside the safety uh, because of the way that it bends. Next up, we got the halfback power O. So this is a play I just typically like to flip it short side. Um, it works kind of like an inside run, even though it looks like an outside run. As you can see, uh, you know, just basically you got a lot of pulling blockers. Uh, I think that most people don't see it coming also based off the fact um, it's a good inside run you can have some explosive plays next up out of the i form h wing we have the halfback stretch i typically uh i mean when it's condensed formation like this the the cornerback and safeties play closer to the box uh, if you motion them out they'll actually back up an entry like a receiver so this is a scenario where motioning out the cover three cornerback is going to give you a big lane to the outside uh, as i accidentally fumble uh, but ultimately that's going to be the best way to run this play against off cover three off cover four and making a motion uh, just to kind of reset them and push them back uh, and then you'll also get a much better block from your tight end on a receiver on a cornerback than you would a receiver uh, they'll typically get stronger hold the point of attack uh, it's a really easy run to the outside 
side. You can sometimes take it up the middle. Uh, sometimes that'll be the, the force. Uh, it really all depends on this block of this tight end. Uh, really following him. I'll go to the replay to show that. Yeah, watching this tight end right here, he's, he doesn't have outside leverage. Um, so right here, since he did, he gets beat outside a little bit, he holds that block enough. If if that defender was outside any more, I would have to follow the fullback up this gap right here. That's really the only read you need to be watching is, is, is where does this outside edge defender go? And you can see it's still pretty tight inside. There wouldn't have been a hole if I went inside, so I had to go outside. So you're really just basing it off of that one read. What happens with that tight end and that outside linebacker? Next up, we have the PA Power O. This play here is a good cover two play. I'm gonna go ahead and I gotta put cover two on there. Um, just motion out Goddard or motion out uh, one of the tight motion one of the tight ends across. That's really all I gotta do. You just need somebody close to the line um, to keep the, uh, the 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 safety over the top here occupied and, and tighter. Uh, but you can see the outside release that Godwin gets. Uh, really makes it uh, an easy up the field play. Let's go and let's go watch, watch the replay there uh, because he really shot off that line. And like I said, it's really because um, these cornerbacks in cover twos, I don't know how I ended up over here. These cornerbacks in cover twos, uh, when we get to the replay, these cornerbacks in cover twos, uh, their job really is to force the play back into. Um, into the safety that's the, is the physically kind of get them in there you see I could tell something didn't go right because he completely whiffed like they can sometimes they jam or, or they get a hand on like the animation really changes he completely whiffed on him so that's why you're seeing that look where he really just got shot out of a cannon uh, and even if he does get a part of him it doesn't really matter because the outside release he's not going to get forced back into the safety and that's why he's going to beat cover two regardless next up out of the strong age slot we have the stretch alert bubble So against off cover threes and ball center. Against off cover threes and uh, you know cover one mans, I really like the run out of these. The stretch the, the, the RPO runs really seem to be the best out of this. But like I said, against off coverages, these uh, these uh, these um, slot or slot screens and bubble screens are really effective they won't work against cover twos as much or against man covers especially um i mean cover twos actually is not it's not that bad against cover twos it should be worse but you can see the space the separation is not really there so ultimately you want to throw it at, uh, on cover threes and cover fours only and the rest of the time this is pretty much going to be just a designed run uh, but you can see i mean there's definitely space outside i should have got way more on that run <laughs> Next up out of the strong H wing, we have the PA boot X shot. This is primarily a man beating route. You can smart route uh, the uh, the X route. Um, that's uh, you know that's something that you can do. Uh, but ultimately, I want to take away the play action. Also, if you're getting like an all-out man blitz, you don't really want to deal with that. Uh, but ultimately, like I said, it's really all about this this X route here, uh, beating the uh, the cover one corners. That's pretty much all it's going to do. Uh, also against man, uh, not necessarily if it's pressed as much like against cover twos and stuff like that, or if your opponent presses. Uh, but ultimately, um, you know, we're just going to watch the replay here real quick. You can see how the second he gets, he makes that guy bite. He's right behind him. So it's like it's something you should see a mile away. You're going to see he beats him. And even with the safety lingering in that area. Uh, it ultimately doesn't matter because you can just bullet and pass lead, or not bullet, but but you can lob it and pass lead outside, and he's never going to get there to to you know to cover it up anyway. Next up, we got the post shot. It's a natural cover four beater with no adjustments. You just really need to make sure you uh, maintain your blocking, and this is the type of cover four beater that once he splits the safeties is when he's gone. Let's do it one more time. Natural cover three play beater. We'll find out. And you can see we're getting uh, we're getting some separation. So it's there. It's also a natural cover three one play touchdown. You just have to wait for this X route to cross this safety. Bullet pass lead away. Safe catch that. Didn't quite get the separation, but you can see it's still a good play. 
Next up, we got the Stretch Alert X Lookie. Here's another play. I don't typically throw it to the slant too much. I just find that these run plays are better, uh, especially against off cover three and cover four. Uh, those are going to be plays that you have the most success with these outside runs. Uh, but I just don't. If, if I'm going to run a stretch play, I'm going to run a stretch play. You know what I mean? Like right there. I don't know what was going on with that animation, why that guy decided not to run forward to block anybody. But it's pretty consistent to the outside. Next up, we got the Stretch Alert X Lookie. It's another good play. I don't typically throw it to the slant. It's pretty much just uh, something where, you know, to me it's just a stretch play. You can't flip it like you can other stretch plays, but you can see it's one of the more successful ones. To me, this year's stretch plays aren't really that great, uh, but the actual, like, uh, RPO versions are really good. Uh, as you can see, it just has an effect on the defense. And then, really, you're just following that blocker, whether he goes... Uh, wherever he takes that the person that he blocks if 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 he blocks him stiffs him you got to go inside uh, You really just reading leverage when it comes to that's concerned like I said That's a, that's a star player that he's knocking out. So right there. He just knocks him to the ground you take it outside super easy play Next up we got the wide receiver goes Another cover two play all you want to do is streak the tight end the B route will get outside release uh, and that will make it easy for a uh, you know a bullet pass lead to the outside and a safe catch for a big play. Next up, we got the 26th dual alert X smoke. So this is a play here. It's a, a good cover three play, just as long as you run away from the box safety. Um, so if I'm running a cover three, if I'm running against a cover three or a cover four. Uh, whatever side the uh, whatever I'm planning to do whether it's a run or the smoke it has to be away from that cover three safety so right here we have like I said I mean it, we, obviously flipping it's uh, pretty dramatic I actually messed it up I wanted to run <laughs> I wanted to throw the ball so like I said right here cover three safety is on this side got to if I want to throw the ball got to do it to the side where the cover three safety is not uh, and they're both good plays but it's like I said it's a cover three cover four play against cover four it doesn't matter because there's no box safety Next up, we got the PA misdirection shot. This play is a one-play touchdown against cover three with no adjustments. Um, it's also a one-play touchdown against cover four with no adjustments, but we'll do that next. So the B route here, once he crosses that safety, uh, that's going to be your one-play touchdown. It's really that simple. Then we'll do cover four. Like I said, you're really just bullet and pass leading away once they cross the safety on both of these plays. So here's another one. Once that B route crosses that safety, um, you know, you really just got to rack catch it too. I think that's the most important part at the end there to make sure you secure that catch. Next up, we get the tight end attack. Just streak the A route. Uh, the RB route, you can do whatever you want. You can put them on a drag, a flat, whatever. Um, but ultimately, against cover two, the B route will get outside release of the cornerback, and you can just bullet and pass lead to the sideline. Uh, make sure that you safe catch on the sideline so you don't go out of bounds. Next up, we got the PA boot slide. All you got to do is put the A route on a streak. And the B route will be a good cover two play uh, to the outside. If you have a real fast uh, receiver, I mean, he could be going. Deshaun Jackson there had an opportunity. Uh, but if you want, if you really want the catch and run space, you got to run it to the open side of the field. Let's go. Let's do that one more time. So, like I said, right there. I mean, it's it's a big play. Next up, we got the PA boot slide. All you got to do is put the A route on a streak, and the B route will be a good cover two play uh, to the outside. If you have a real fast uh, receiver, I mean, he could be going. Deshaun Jackson there had an opportunity, uh, but if you, want, if you really want the catch and run space, you got to run it to the open side of the field. Let's go let's do that one more time. So like I said right there, I mean, it's, it's a big play. Next about the single back deuce close, we got the bench. So this play right here, uh, the Y routes can typically beat cover threes outside. Uh, the X routes, you can dot that up against cover three, but it's more the X routes are more uh, the receiving routes, I should say, 
are more cover two based. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll pick the Tampa two. Uh, you can make that even better if you streak the Y route and motion across um, the uh, the tight end here. Um, and you just put him on like an out route or something like that. I mean, you can create bigger spacing for the X route against cover two uh, by, by dressing it up with these other routes. Uh, but it's a pretty decent cover two route by itself. Without any adjustments, really. And like I said, against cover three as well. I mean, you can dot this up against cover three, against cover four, that route will get open. Next up, we get the halfback stretch. So, just a good outside run, nothing really to it. Uh, typically, these uh, receivers do a pretty good job of setting the edge. It's going to be good against cover three, cover four, any off coverage, zone coverage that's going to be weak to the outside. Next up, we get the PA misdirection. So, against cover two, just streak the, um, the Y route, put the A route on a drag, and it's going to be the best to get the, uh, the X route open over the, uh, over the top. Uh, you can get some good catch and runs out of this, uh, but I wouldn't necessarily call it a one play touchdown, but it's definitely a good play. Next up, we have the PA X post cross. Against cover three, uh, cover one, you're going to have, I'm sorry, cover three, cover one, and cover four, you're going to have a one play touchdown if you motion out uh, the Y route here. I'm sorry, not the Y route, uh, Rager, the uh, the X route, and you, uh, you get a good throw, obviously. As you can see right there, he crosses the... Uh, crosses the uh the safety and it's a one play touchdown against cover four make that same motion like i say just can't be too far behind the line of scrimmage because it's a very deep throw and then you can see how he's beating it over the top the same next up we get a tight end angle so against cover three uh two doesn't matter cover four man the x route here uh, is going to get outside of all of them because of the tightness of the formation uh, so it really doesn't matter what, what formation you're running it against. If you drag the A route, though, uh, I mean, Cover 2 is probably going to do one of the better versions against it, but dragging the uh, the A route, although already, honestly, the B route's on a drag, too. So it doesn't really matter. One of the two has to be on a drag. One of the two has to be on a streak, and that's going to help get the uh, the cut this, this route open against Cover 2. I'll do that one more time. I really find it's best to drag the tight end. I think that the tight end is just going to get across the formation faster. And that's what's going to help to pull that coverage for that X route. As you can see right there, we're just bullet and pass leading up the field uh, for a big play. Next up, we got the four verticals. Against cover three, uh, and cover two, motion out the B route, put the X route on a drag, block the running back. Uh, the drag's a good check down. Against cover three, the RB route will get open right in the seam. Uh, it's a pretty consistent play. Against cover two, uh, you're going to motion, like I said, the motion here is going to get open. So we're going to go, we're going to pick cover two. Uh, we can just change this up. If it's cover two, just streak uh, the RB route. That's all you really got to do. So, like I said, right here. B route gets outside of cover two. Uh, tight throw, bit, bit to the boundary. He didn't even catch it. We'll do it one more time. I said against cover two, you can motion snap him because if you let him get set all the way to the boundary, that's part of the problem as to why he uh, why he ran out of space. So like I said, right there, cover two, get outside. Cornerback trail a little bit. I keep forgetting to put the drag. Uh, you have to, That's part of the reason that the drag is important against cover two. So we'll set that one more time. The drag will help pull that cover two safety down. So let's go and let's do that again. Either way, he's catching it. Next up, we got the Z option. Against cover one man, uh, this X route is going to be really explosive. Just streak the A route, block the running back, um, you know, block the the, uh, the tight end. Uh, that's pretty much all you got to do in this X route. Um, we're just it's a really dirty route like I said the second he makes that guy stop you can just basically lob it up pass it to the side uh, I'll go and I watch the replay on that because I mean it's just like it, I don't know man that's just dirty like <laughs> he's gone you know what I mean the second the second that cornerback stops he's gone uh, it's also really good against man uh, man zero man blitz 
got to find one of those real quick. So we'll go with the, the LB cross zero. And when it's against this zero blitz, you just want to put him on a smart route. Because now you see how short it is. And he's really going to beat this route fast. So, like I said, he, he just just poops all over that. The the receive, the cornerback actually got in the way. That's not typical. He won't typically get in the way. He'll typically just get burned dirty. So let's do that again. So let's do that one time more. Like I said, if he's pressing, it's, it's going to be a problem. But if he's not pressing... Uh, he's typically going to be gone. He's typically going to roast it. But here it's not working out as well because he's, he's actually getting in the way a little bit. Except we got the 0-1 trap. You see, these inside runs uh, are pretty consistent. Uh, it's just when you have a lot of movement on the inside. I don't know. The, the defense seems to be either at a disadvantage or lost. But you can see how consistent and how big this hole is uh, in the direction that I'm going. And I'm pretty much just going against random run defenses, but you can see, I mean, there's there's a pretty consistent hole from this pretty much every time. It's a big hole. Next up, we have the uh, Fade Smash. So against cover two, all you have to do is streak the, uh, the X route. And the Y route is going to be a very big play up the cover two uh, gap between the cornerback and the safety. It's really that simple. It's really only a cover two play this year. This is something that was a lot better last year. Next up, we got the four verticals. So this play doesn't take any adjustments. Uh, the B route's a good outside route against cover two. You just have to bullet uh, and pass lead to the outside and safe catch at the boundary, uh, depending on how much space you have. If you have more space, it'll be a little bit easier. Uh, you know, obviously I'm running at the center of the field, uh, but it's a good play. It's something you can do pretty consistently. Next up, we got the jet sweep. good trick play run to throw uh, into things um, you know good trick play run to throw your opponent every once in a while uh, it's best if I mean you got your fastest guy a lot of times getting the ball typically the receivers if you have a receiver faster than the running back uh, you can get an explosive play out of it so it's just something to something to throw at your opponent to give him something to think about personally I find jet sweeps are also very fun to run Next up, we got the Sluggo Seam. So, I mean, this is another cover one play. The the B route here, uh, it's just designed. That's why the route's designed to go away from the cover one safety. Uh, there's no adjustments needed. You just have to watch and make sure that he actually gets separation. Uh, because even though it's a good route, it's not always... Uh, it's not always there, and sometimes you got to float it up and just out out speed your your receipt or your cornerback to it as well. Next up, we got the stretch alert bubble. This is a cover three or a cover four play. Uh, anything where um, they play off coverage, so I can run the ball against an off coverage and have success to the outside, or I can throw the screen, throw the bubble screen just doesn't really matter if you run against cover three uh, which I don't actually I think I'm in right now if you run against cover three the Y route um, is is, uh, is, is going to be a good uh, like I said it's a good off coverage play uh, but ultimately if you're running into cover three you really have to go to the opposite side of the box safety or else you're going to run into trouble if you run into the box safety you're going to run into trouble if you throw at the box safety you're going to run into trouble next up we got the jet sweep Guess best against man because there won't be a cornerback out here but you can see the way that that block pulls it's not really gonna matter still a really good play still a really consistent successful play um, like I said Goddard here he just kind of kicks out in the diagram uh, normally there I didn't really run the plate too well uh, but like I said very consistent you get it to your fastest guy you get into the edge uh, and you're gonna have a uh, good runs here's that man look I was talking about I said this is uh, the cornerback doesn't follow so that's why um, it's so successful there's no cornerback on the edge but it's been consistent all three runs against no matter what man or zone next up we got the stretch alert bubble the bubble itself is going to be best against cover three and cover four off coverages uh, will give you a little catch and run uh, and, the, and the stretch is going to be too 
the stretch to this side uh, is probably best against cover ones. Uh, as you can see, the safety's dropping down here, though. But still, I mean, there's no cornerback outside. There's no outside containment. But I'd probably rather that than Jamal Adams or, or Diggs in this scenario. But either way, cover threes, cover fours. Um, if you motion this guy out, it'll actually push the cover three corner back, which will help you get to that edge. Um, he didn't block anybody, though. But typically, the tight end will do a better job of blocking that edge, def that edge defender. Uh, so that's going to be really the best way to run it. So against off coverage, cover three, cover four, uh, or man coverage, the run will be best. Uh, and then against uh, cover three, cover four, the, the the B route will be best. Next up, we get the halfback inside zone. Another good inside run play. Nice bread and butter type play. I mean, um, you know, the holes the holes open up, bottom line. Uh, a lot of times, these, uh, these defenders just take themselves out of the play. Uh, but even if they don't, I mean, there's, the, the blocks hold up. You get some nice sticky blocks, and then you see you can just get some really explosive runs out of this. Next up, we got the halfback stretch. So, flip the play once again. I'm going towards the receiver side. Uh, you can see, I mean, this is really, to me, that's the best way to go. Um, you know, the receivers. Uh, doing a really good job even though it's not really like a blocking receiver it's just doing a pretty good job of maintaining that edge um, so really consistent run you can run either way though um, just you know you just have to look for where your plus one is and that's where the receiver side is you can also motion across one of the tight ends uh, you know it can give away where the play is going uh, but if you want a blocking advantage especially against like a zone I wouldn't say against a man it's a good idea because you'll pull a defender in the area but if you motion across against the zone, I mean, a lot of times you're going to get an even better blocking advantage. Although there he didn't block anybody because I motion blocked him. Uh, but ultimately, you know, you can do that. You can motion across uh, an extra tight end. Next up out of the wing tight Z, we have the Y stick. Just streak the A route and the uh, the B route is going to get outside of uh, cover two cornerbacks and safety. You just have to bullet. Uh, you know, pass lead to the side to the sideline and safe catches so you don't go out of bounds. Even against a great safety like Jamal Adams, it gets open. Next up, we got the bunch trail against cover three. Block the running back, block the tight end, shift the uh, slide the protection to the right, and then put the RB route on a smart route, and that's going to uh, shorten him uh, to the point where you're basically just waiting for this X route to clear and I, I typically like the roll in that direction but the protection wasn't wasn't holding up to let me uh, but it doesn't really matter because you can see it's a really big play against cover four just block the same two guys um, the RB route I mean I don't you can you can just put him on a drag I'd say smoke the B route just short routes is all you really need because ultimately um, you're just trying to get create separation they're actually through the ball kind of late but it won't matter so <laughs> so you're just waiting for him to cross inside the safety and then you just bullet pass leading away from the free safety and it's another one play touchdown next up is the verticals against man coverage block the running back put the uh, the the x route on a drag um, you can even motion him in so it'll get across the formation faster. Uh, so, But that'll use up your, your one motion for the play. Uh, and then ultimately, he'll get across the formation. You'll get a good catch and run underneath. Um, so that's really the best option for man. You could also you know, put a zig on the B route and stuff like that if you want to. Uh, against cover two, block the running back once again. Drag the X route. This time you're going to motion out to Sean. You're going to put the A route on a streak. And that's going to uh, help the uh, the B route get open outside above the cover two. Just bullet, pass lead to the sideline, and safe catch so you make sure to catch it in bounds. Next up out of the bunch to you, we got the halfback inside zone. It's a good run play. If you want to try to spread them out a little more, you could always motion out uh, one of the receivers, the, the receiver on the edge, uh, just to try to spread the, uh, the look out. Uh, but it really doesn't matter. It's a good run play either way. Typically, uh, you have a, uh, it's just an inside to out run. Next up, we got the PA boot over. So against cover three, if you want to hit a one play touchdown, just drag the Y route, block the running back. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to roll away from the drama. Uh, and we're just going to get an easy throw over the top. So you just really have to short the routes against cover three. Also works against cover four. Same idea, although this time I'm going to block the A route because 
I just like how against cover four the blocking like really seems to change on this edge. So like I said, just waiting for this X route to clear one more time, and we have a really easy one play touchdown against cover three and cover four. Next up, I got the divide wheel. Another good cover two play. Just motion in the X route here, put him on a streak. That's pretty much it. You could also streak the A route, get a similar effect with the running back on the other side, but ultimately it's not going to be as big as the uh, as the Y route. The Y route's really the focus. Except out of the gonna be bunch, we have the verticals. Against cover three, motion this guy out. The uh, the running back will get open in the scene. And the B route will get open outside uh, if you want to bullet and, and pass lead to the boundary. So let's pick that cover two. You want to streak the RB route. Typically want to drag the Y route because that's going to help with the cover two cornerback. But we're really just waiting for this B route to get outside. Bullet, pass lead, safe catch. And got a big play against cover two as well. Next up we got the Y curl. Against cover two, just motion in this uh, receiver here, put him on a streak. That will be the focus. We're going to go to switch to a cover two real quick. Uh, that's pretty much it. The Y route's going to get outside and be a big play. Just got a bullet pass lead to the sideline. You can make a catch and run and make a big play out of this. It's a good route. Next up, we got the fade smash. So against cover three, I'm going to find a cover three real quick. Motion across the X route. Put the A route, the X route, and the B route all on streaks. Block the running back. And the B route will get open against cover three. As you can see right there, it's got a bullet pass lead away. Hopefully I can get underneath that ball because I felt like it was going out there. But you can see it's cover one touchdown against cover two and three. Next up, we got the fake screen wheel. So I'll put the Sean on a streak, the A route, or the X route on a streak, the B route, and the A route all on streaks. Uh, that's pretty much going to be all she wrote. The Y route is going to be a good cover two play, and the B route is going to be a good cover three play once the cornerback turns his attention to the uh, the wheel route. Uh, then I just bullet pass it away from the safety. You don't really, I don't think you have to really make any adjustments against cover two because it's kind of already a cover two play, but you can do that motion if you want to. If you want to mirror the look, you can set it up the same way I did against cover three, uh, but you can see it's really easy cover two play. It's already kind of set up that way. Next up, we got the PA cross shot for use against a lot of shit. Streak the A route, streak the Y route, and this is pretty much going to be the look no matter what defense you're running it against. Um, you're really just playing the high versus the low coming across like we have cover three right here You can see I mean that's gonna you know that that, that could really be gone up the seam uh, I also find that putting the X on a um, On a streak helps as well um, Against like I said against like cover twos that route might not necessarily be there as much uh, But other than that, I mean it's going to be pretty consistent here. We got a cover two like I said you can see it's pretty much it's almost, you know, if I had more room, I could be catching and running this for, for much bigger plays if I wanted to move the ball over. So against pretty much any zone, it's going to have that effect. That includes cover four, if I have that in the in here. Like I said, this is just, you know, usering ain't what it was. So this is something that you can run pretty consistently. So against cover four... Um, you can do the same thing. Usering really isn't uh, isn't really what it was. You can see it there. That's going to take a tight throw, though. So now we got that cover through look one more time. And like I said, I mean, that cornerback's just sitting back. Not really something you're going to get going a lot of get with, but it's a really big play. Next up, we got the dagger. Streak the A route, put the Y route, or drag. Maybe block the running back. You don't really need him doing that. And uh, ultimately, against pretty much any man or zone, this B route or this Y route is going to be open for a big play, a chunk play. You're typically not going to turn up for a touchdown. Uh, only cover four gives that last 
that last cover four corner will give that route problems. Other than that, I mean, it's going to be very successful against man. Um, this is, you know, giving that the, it's hard to, uh, to use or control anything. As you can see right here, I mean, this is definitely going, to be going against man, although I just, you got to float it against man. I probably could have bolted that and turned up, uh, but that's definitely one of the better man plays. Let's go and let's run against man one more time. Should have blocked my, should have been blocking my running back pretty much every time, but I didn't do that. So like I said, right here, good crossing route against man. Can definitely get go, get ghost against man coverages with that. Next up, we got the RPO alert screen. It's a good inside run, but you have the option to just kick it out. If it's a cover three or cover four, just kick it out to the screenplay. Uh, that's typically going to be best. Otherwise, if it's a man or a cover two, you just want to hand it off, uh, which means just don't touch any button and it'll hand off inside. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below.